Welcome back to another round of XCOM for lunch. Let's load back in, unfortunately, without Guadalupe. There she is. Nearby explosion destroyed her. It was a faceless that took her out. We're going to get through a bunch of engineering projects here. In addition to some research, we got 301 supplies and moving through our power coil construction as well. We're also going to put an engineer on that to speed things up, and we're going to continue scanning, pick up some supplies, finish our power, and continue constructing lots of stuff. We got our Psy Lab up and running now, so we are, or at least under construction. We're going to send out our crew, and just to abbreviate things, here we are. We're going to move forward. There's the first group of enemies. We're moving over towards the building. I like to be up high and towards the edges of the map. So we're going to watch them move over, and then they actually group up really nicely near the turret. Check this out. This is some really lucky positioning. Well, now this is nice because I think they're grouped up right next to the turret. Yes. That'll work. So that'll be our surprise attack. And let's get everybody else set up for the ambush. Look at the pathway. Look at this. Up and over, and then down, and over. Like... Just go over the, uh, the fence. Hmm. Interesting. They did not move. I guess because they're not within eyesight? Very interesting. Okay. What to do? I guess I move her forward and put her on overwatch then. Well, let's get Yekka out of the way. Let's back her up. I don't know if there's going to be something right there. Hopefully they're inside the building, but I got to move. Oh, and I get another shot at something. Battle scanner. Helpful. Helpful. I think it would be most helpful if I got a picture right through the window here. Yeah, let's do that. Through the window. Tiffany cleaned up the robot. Ooh. Is it worth it to go for that little reward there? I decided it totally was. So over we go and we pick it up. Fast forwarding to our target, we got a nice spot over on the building. I think I've only got one day on the current tech, so that's kind of pointless. Let's try to do this one. It's unlikely, but there's no penalties on it. <laughs> nope. <laughs> now this is where things start to get a little dicey. We hear something, we go up to the roof, and boom, there they are. And we really have to scramble around to make things happen for us. Taking out rooftops is always a smart play. It does some extra damage, and we're going to flank this muton right here in the back. Um, and I actually have to leave Harumi there exposed, but I just really needed to get her close enough to have a clear shot. We got some great reaction shots from our Overwatch here. And that takes care of that first pod, and then we're going to send all of our people up to the roof to finish off the last pod. We're going to take them out with a little bit of reaction shots. They're going to move around a good bit, so we've got to reorganize, move things over, take care of this robot with our combat protocol. And we're really just taking these things out one by one. I tried to get rid of them all in one uh, turn here, but we missed a little bit. I was not able to get close enough to launch another grenade, and now I'm just trying to survive this round. This thing survives running over and hitting Harumi in the face, and Harumi is just like, nope, I'm not taking that. So really nice shot at the end there. Cleaning things up with our final shot, Yekka taking out that sectoid and wrapping it up. All right, I felt pretty good about that. Sparks really holding herself up. 100% shot damage, because we didn't miss any of the shots that we took. Nicely done. That's gonna wrap up this episode. Make sure you check out my other videos. I've got some great teacher tech talk stuff happening soon. I'm also starting up an NFT project with a good friend. We're gonna be starting things on Kickstarter, so go over there, check out how to support us. We need a little bit of help getting our NFTs to actually get minted. So we got to pay for the gas prices for the initial round of NFTs. 
We would also love to turn this into a nonprofit, so any of the proceeds from the Kickstarter will go into jumpstarting our little mission here. Um, and all of the NFTs that we create are going to support schools and students in need. Uh, we'll purchase supplies, we'll help teachers with expenses that really teachers should not be paying uh, out of their pocket for. So we're going to try to boost up our education system and we'll do it in a creative way that also gives back to the donors. Um, that way the NFT itself becomes a useful token rather than just a collectible. So we can attach lots of different videos and extra things in the vault. So anyway, if you're interested, we'll be posting an info video on that soon. And I hope you guys check it out and you have a great day.